Hi, my name is Amy and this is my first update for my whole collection project pan. If you haven't seen the intro, I will leave a link below. Um, just to recap, I'm mostly just trying to rotate through my collection because it's very big and I would like to get to the point where it's just the things that I love. I want everything to be something I want to use. At the moment, I have so much stuff that I haven't even, even probably swatched. So we need to get this collection uh, lower or smaller, smaller, and that's going to take some time. And for that, I'm going to use a project pan to get the journey going. And sooner or later, I'll have a curated makeup collection that I absolutely love. I'm really excited about this update because I didn't think I would do this good. So, uh, I don't know if I should show you the best part or should I make you wait? Hmm. My little devil ears are saying you must wait. So, let's start with the one thing I absolutely despised. Hourglass Veil Primer. This thing looks brand new because I only used it twice. It looked horrible on my skin and foundations that usually look good looked bad. I tried it twice, two different ways. Like first I did the whole, the whole face and then put my usual, I use, where is it? I use my dewy and smooth uh, Maybelline Fit Me and this is my go-to. Like I've used this for years. And I thought, well, if, if this is going to work, it's going to work with that, right? Like, cause I know how that, that works. So I didn't like it with that. I actually, like an hour in, I just decided to take all my makeup off. I hated the way it looks. Though I don't really love the way my face is looking today either, but that's, that's the weather. <laughs> the skin's dry. Very, very dry. Um, I also tried this with just putting it like, on the t-zone maybe and I still didn't like it and then I looked down and it says it expires December 2021 so I'm gonna say it's not the probably the primers fault it's my fault for waiting too long to try it out so if I ever get another little guy like this I'll give it a try as soon as I get it but I don't know if have you any of you used this before if you have do you like it and how exactly do you use it do you use it for your whole face before putting on your foundation I mean it's supposed to be just a primer well I'm sure the sunscreen is completely gone um, and it's oil free but my face felt even more dry than it usually does when I tried this so this is going in the bin didn't mean to make that big of a noise uh, what's next on the list? Um, no, we're going to wait on that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do my use, my, the things I want to keep in until I hit pan or use up. So the next one was my Super Shock Cheek in Thanks for the Memories. And I, if I can figure out how, I'll put in a picture of how it looked on the intro. If not, there's no picture. Sorry, <laughs> I'm still learning. I there's no there's no pants ad, but ooh, let's get this good lighting here. Um, there's no pan, but I feel like I'm really close. However, when I first started, I was just dipping my finger in and trying to pat it in. But since it's drying up, it's not as dry. It's actually a lot now, a lot more squishy. Since I put some rose hip oil, I just took a little dab on my finger and then rubbed it over it like that and then let it just soak in. And it's now working better. But I've been using this brush. It's the Equal Tools, what are you called? It just says bronze, but it's a stipple brush. I love this brush. And I wouldn't know anything about this brush if it wasn't for Jessica Braun because she really loves this brush. So I went out and bought it and you know what? I love it too. It works really well with these cream products, especially when they're kind of dryish. So that's what I'm wearing today. Most of this stuff, yeah, almost all of this stuff I'm wearing today to get that last juice in. 
also let's see what else um my use of oh the bare minerals prime time eyelid primer i don't really know if i like it or not if you can see right here this was full when we brought it in and i put it up against the light and i can see that we're right here it might be lower because it could be like i can see it now like it's right right here but there's a lot in this little guy and you don't need a whole lot i don't really find that it's sticky or anything so i can just put like eyeshadow on top unlike um what was the one i tried before i think it was the urban decay that one's actually sticky and you have to set it down but this one, this is going to be here for a while. Hopefully not the whole year. I'd like to get through some more eye primers. I use, oh, I am not very good at this yet, am I? I'm still learning, still learning. Hold on. On this, I only used it five times. So, of course, it's not going to have pan yet. But it was used before, so I was kind of hoping. And then, um, if I wasn't scared, you know, I'm just going to show you the goodie. I used up all of the Bare Minerals Dew Mist. All gone. It's empty. Can't hear a thing. The sprayer sucked on this. The first couple of sprays were like, ooh, yeah, that's nice. And then all of a sudden it started just spinning every time I used it. But there was only 10 uses. Now, granted, I am a little heavy on my setting spray, especially while I'm dry. It's like, I'm just like, come on, come on, do something and make my face look less powdery. So I did use a lot every time I used it, but it was only 10, 10 days of use and it was done. So I went back to my holy grail, the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I'm going to try to stop using that so I can get through the other setting sprays. Um, okay. All right. The rest is usage goals and well i did pretty good except for one product and that one product that i did not reach my 10 uses was the maybelline eye studios uh gel pot liner yeah i only used it twice and i looked i did a horrible job i have to practice i need to do a day where i can just practice wash it off and practice again because when i was trying these i was actually going somewhere after and it was bad <laughs> i also was trying to use the brush it came with and that's just a no-go so i actually went and bought a morphe what is it a morphe bent liner brush i don't know if you can see it in the package but um i'm gonna try that because it seems very very like pointy so maybe I can do a clean line because I just want like a little bit of liner I don't put like big drawn out bold eyeliner I'm not ready for that yet um okay okay so I did get my 10 use skull on the Bellini tea I can't put the Bellini tea I'm thinking of my favorite tea right now <laughs> the Bellini brunch with bare mineral bare minerals gen nude and you really won't find any difference with 10 uses. And it was crazy. I thought I would be using this over and over and over again every time I put my makeup on. But I only, well, I was trying to do both. And there were times where I actually would put this down and then put this on top because this was getting too pinky and I wasn't really going for a pink. Or I would be wearing, since I was using the Huda Beauty purple look like today, an orange blush really didn't go. So... You know, there, it, I end up actually having to force myself to use the Bare Minerals, but I got my 10 uses so it can roll out. I also got my 10 uses on the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. Uh, you won't probably see any, uh, notice anything different because like it's just 10 uses. I only use this probably two or three times and well, I'm more... Okay, four times, because I am wearing it today, and I still don't like it. And it might just be because of my, my own skin issues. Because I know a lot of people love this, but I really do like the sculpt side. Now, would I go and repurchase this once it's done, and who knows when that would ever be, but I probably wouldn't. I don't feel it's worth the price, 
and I really wish it was just the sculpt side and not the highlighter with it because I don't like the highlighter. So I like her, I like it and I'm going to use it and I am not regretting the fact that I own it, but I won't be rebuying it. Okay, so does that just leave the two, yeah, it just leaves the two palettes. We'll do the Too Faced Peanut Butter Honey Palette first. How cute is this guy? He's so cute. Um, I actually really liked it. I mean, I didn't expect there to be all that exciting of looks coming out of it, but this is like really, I, I could have this for an everyday work palette and be absolutely fine. Like I wouldn't need any other palettes. I used every single shade, yay me, <laughs> and uh, well, I don't really have much to say other than that it, it, it's easy to use and it gave me all of those basic everyday looks and it also helped me with the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions. Let me get this out. Okay, be smarter than the palette, there we go. Uh, I did struggle with this for a little while and I'm still not sure if I love this. I like it, but it's not a love. And it's mainly because of the middle row. Oops, sorry. Let me do it this way. I do not like the glitter. It, no matter, well, I haven't tried it with the glitter glue. I actually ended up ordering one and then I only had like two uses less left on this and of course I forgot to use the glitter glue and I like today I got glitter everywhere falling all over my face but they are pretty I really love this color even though there's tons of fallout it's such a pretty color when it's I actually have it on and then I topped this one on top of it and I'm I, I it's it's a not a look I'm used to. It's a lot darker than I'm used to. I'm used I'm used to oranges and browns. The purple on the eyes, I'm still even after using this 10 times, I'm still trying to get used to it. I like it. It's just weird to look see myself in the mirror with purple eye eyeshadow on. I did use every single shade and for the most part, I was doing this, this color in my crease, and then this is to darken. You know, I was so scared of this, and it's the least of, the least shadow I was having issues with. Like, there were no issues with this. I was having like, well one, this came out so bold the first time I tried to put it on my lid. I was like, what? What am I doing? Am I going to some kind of rave? <laughs> so, that was not for me. But it's so pretty. I just couldn't, I couldn't handle, I have it on today, but I, like, I, I lightened it by using that with it. So, um, yeah, so basically, I don't know if I want to keep it or not. I mean, should I keep it? Like, I like the, I love all the mattes, the three mattes. And I really do like this one. And, oh, I keep blinding you, sorry guys. This one and... Actually, really, it's just like this one and this one are my two, but this one has so much fallout. I don't know. I don't know. I'll hang on to it and try to use it again at some point, and if I don't like it, I'll pass it on. Maybe my cousin will like it. Um, so, sorry, my cat. <laughs> uh, that's everything for that. So, the new Rollins. Let's see here. I have them all in my little kitty basket. So I decided I want to kind of keep a full face of makeup in this project pan. So let's see, what should we start with? And I have, I'm going to go down the line. I want February to be basically pink, all pinks. So I'm, and I'm only going to do one palette this time. It was a struggle to get two palettes, even though they were small palettes. I struggled. I wanted to go run to the rest of my um, eyeshadows. So I might 
actually start doing a shop my stash but I fear I won't hit my 10 uses I don't know I'm starting a new position in my job and there are, it's something I've never done before so I'm gonna be learning everything fresh and I'm excited but that also means I'm probably gonna be stressed out and will I even think to put makeup on the good part is is that in the beginning I'll be doing training via webcam so I have to put makeup on so I'll get those uses in but I don't know I I might do shop my stashes I might hold off and see how well I keep going with the getting my uses in because I would like to start not just working on my project pan stuff because I want to get through this collection and it's going to take me years to try to get through it if I only do a monthly selection that I'm only doing like 10 uses on so I don't know how y'all do it I really don't I've been watching all your videos and wow January is full of a lot of intros I don't know how you girls are doing so many projects I'm freaking out on these so enough rambling let me see what I want to start with oh this doesn't go in here this goes for the other one um, I guess I'll start from what my list shows I'm going to do I bought the rose quartz Huda Beauty while it was the rouge sale at Sephora I have yet to swatch or use it because I was focusing on my project pan stuff. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. You've all seen it. It's everywhere. But I have not used it. And you know what? These are my kind. Let me see how I can do this. These are my kind of shades. I am so excited to use this palette. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. But yeah, we're going to do 10 uses. But I it's going to be more than 10 uses probably because I want to touch or use every single shadow at least once. But as a whole, I want to use this palette 10 times. And I don't know, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have way more than 10 because I'm excited about the pinks. I love pinks. So that one probably won't be as much of a struggle as the Amethyst Obsessions. I just broke a nail. That's what I get for not painting them. <laughs> Okay, moving on from my tragic nail breakage. Uh, sorry for, <laughs> I'm so off. I got off work today and I usually don't film after work because my brain is so exhausted. And I wanted to do this update, to have this update up on the first, but of course life gets in, gets in the way sometimes and the whole scheduling thing went out the door. So I'm having to, t to film two videos today and I wanted this up so much sooner. But the good thing is I had this the sinus infection for a week so I was wearing no makeup and I was like man I'm gonna have like three days three uses not completed. So at least I I guess that extra week gave me that. Look on the bright side. So here's another new palette that I got during an Ulta sale. I know some people don't like her. I like her and she's, she's not for everybody, but if you don't like her, just move on. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to change my mind. Uh, Jaclyn Hills blush palette Rouge Romance. I really wanted the other one too, but it sold out. So we will be using all of these. I want to use the palette 10 times each shade once. I'm excited. Oh, I should have done some swatch. Well, you've seen probably the rose quartz. I will swatch some of these. first swatch so did I do it right yeah so this one is wow did I already forget what I did <laughs> oh okay this is tempting this is fancy pants I believe yeah and this is pretty posh and this is tea room 
I don't know. I'm really excited about this palette. I love blush and I shouldn't have bought this or like the other blushes I bought in December and January, but I can't help myself. I have a blush addiction. <sighs> I do need rehab. It ain't gonna happen this year. <laughs> so we're gonna get our 10 uses on this one. And I don't see any issues. Oof, let's not get it dirty. Um, any issue with getting that done. We're also going to do what is next on here. Basically, you know what? There's only one item in this project that I've used before. So, good times. I have the bron the e.l.f. bronzer forever sunkissed. Oop, phone call. Hold on. Okay, back to where we were. If I can get this open. This has been swatched only. I'm sure many of you have it or have seen others tried to pan it. It was because of all you lovely uh, YouTubers that made me go out and buy this. Um, let's see. We'll put it up here. Yeah, I think this will be a really good shade for me. I'm still looking for the perfect bronzer, to be, be honest. I noticed that most of them are too orange or just not the right tone for me. I'm super pale and even though like right now I, I actually probably look darker than I am because the the foundation I use which is in my partners in cream is too dark for me so I just like bring it down the neck <laughs> um, but once that's gone I'll be back to my holy grail I think so all right so 10 uses on the bronzer the primer infused bronzer from elf i'm excited about trying that and this next one is also bought because of all you lovely youtubers and i'm really hoping that it works as well as everybody says it's the essence pure nude highlighter in be my highlights you know it it's a holy grail on youtube oh cat hairs everywhere <laughs> Still cat hair everywhere, but anyways, never. I haven't even swatched this yet, so let's give it a swatchy poo. I hope it won't be too dark for me. And it looks a little dark, but maybe if I can blend it out, it will work. But I am finding that I'm not really a highlighter person, and I have a full drawer of highlighters. And I think it's the texture of my skin. I have massive pores <laughs> and now a whole lot of wrinkles um, coming out. And I'm finding that the highlighters are not helping me at all. I found I like the Hourglass Vanishing Stick. I can't remember the name of the shade, but that one actually looks nice. But it's sometimes a little too blingy. If I get the right amount it's just right but any other time it's just too much and all the powder ones I don't like because they just they look bad on my skin oh aging <laughs> I'm gonna use it 10 times and I'll let you know how I feel about it once we do the update next thing on the list oh the face powder oh I, I don't like loose powder face powder um, and I have a whole lot of them, mainly because everybody, I, when I first started getting into makeup, I was all about, Ooh, that works for them. I want to use it. Like I'd watch my favorite YouTubers, mostly Kathleen lights and Jessica Braun. <laughs> and I'm like, Ooh, I need to try that. And I would get it. And then I would use it once and not use it again. So here's one of those. And this is not even in a brand anymore. The New York color, smooth skin, loose, face powder and I think it's just in translucent I'm not opening it because as soon as I open it it goes poof, everywhere so I am this is full absolutely oh, let's see if I can show you it's absolutely full 
I'm like, I don't know if I, yeah, there's, is there's a tag. So when I went to open this and to see if I wanted to, to use it because it's, it's my oldest one, my oldest face powder, since it made a massive volcanic powder situation, I went online, Amazon, um, and tried to find a little powder thing that I can switch this into. And I haven't opened it yet, but it has, it looks like the Glossier powder sifter thingy. And this was cheap. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, I mean, like, I was thinking, why am I going to go buy something to put a powder in, blah, blah, blah. Well, I think this will make it a lot easier to, for me to keep using it and hopefully not make so much of a mess. Now it's going to be a mess putting it in there, I'm sure, but. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to do 10 uses. I was using the Ciate Every, what was it? Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Spray, a uh, setting spray, setting powder during, without having it in the project. I forgot to put it in the project. So I didn't mind this so much. I didn't use it today, but when I did use it, I didn't mind it. I'm hoping this one will work okay. It says it's smoothing. Maybe it'll make me look nicer. We'll see. Uh, one, what? Three more things. Um, so the, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw a lip liner in. I have all of these nice lip liners. Yeah. It's a full thing of lip liners and they never get used, so. We're gonna start throwing them in. I used to use lip liners, like in, in my teen years, like the 90s, you used a lip liner. <laughs> um, and then, I don't know, about five years ago, I just would always forget. I mean, I have tons of them, I keep buying them. But, so now, I'm making a point to start using them. And with, oh, you know what? I forgot to show you a status of something. I was about to talk about it. All right, forgot to show you another from the previous. The Lux Oil in Skinny, is it Skinny Dip? Skinny Dip, look at that baby. I definitely used it way more than 10 times. We are down to here. I'm gonna keep it in and I'm gonna use it up because it, it's gonna take just a couple of weeks. Probably not even, maybe two weeks. And I use this basically like a lip balm. I, well, I don't know what I was saying because my memory card was full and it stopped recording. So if the uh, lighting's different, the angle is off or something, sorry. Uh, I think, oh yeah, I was talking about the lippy pencil. I'm just, whatever I was saying, let's forget about it. I have the I Love Sorry. X color pop lippy pencil in BFF, I think. It's probably easier for me to read it down. No, in 951. <laughs> I use that BFF more. But we're gonna use one I haven't used before. And let's see. Well, I've used it a little bit. Like you can see it all smudged. This is, oh, this was the stupidest hand to use it on. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know why I'm holding mm -hmm. Okay. That's the color. I think it's going to work well with the lip gloss I have in here. Oh, and I was saying this. Okay, so I'm I'm a uh, going to keep this in because it's almost done and I use it instead of my lip balm. I stopped using my lip balm and I've been using this oil and you know what? This is really good stuff. So if you guys are thinking of buying the Lux oils from ColourPop, I like this one at least, the Skinny Dip. I just put it on multiple times a day and when it wears off, which it does wear off pretty quickly, it's an oil, but my lips actually feel way more nourished than when I use a chapstick or a balm. So just saying, and they're cheap. Okay, so the lip gloss I am putting in as an extra, like, I'm not counting this as still being a part of the, it's unofficially still being panned. 
Um, I'm doing the Tarte Tardis lip paint in Goals. So I have used this a few times. It's, I don't know if we'll even see. Is this like, can you see windowing? I think the package is actually colored. You guys tell me if you've used this stuff, does it actually go clear when you finish it? It's very gloopy. So we'll do it right here under that. Ooh, eh, kind of a crappy swatch. Um, still smells good. I know this is kind of old, but it smells minty still. And I put it on the other day with the lip liner to make sure I like it. So that's the color. I think it'll be a good one for Valentine's or not that I have a Valentine, <laughs> but to do all my pinky looks. The last product is the Pore Professional Super Setter from Benefit. Never used it, it's brand new. So I'll be finishing this off. Uh, yeah, that's everything. So some things I want to use up, some things I just want to hit 10 uses on. I may or may not do a Shop My Stash this month to find more things to play with. If I do, I will try to film it. It might end up being more of a March thing because we're already kind of, it's a short month and I'm already late on this update. So I think I might just wait until March. So, but let me know if you would even be interested in seeing a Shop My Stash. And if I did a Shop My Stash, I would probably do a Get Ready With Me using that stuff. Or if you'd like to see a Get Ready With Me using my Project Pan stuff, I would do that too if you want to see it. Again, it'll be probably a little, a little bit of a hot mess at first, like these are, because <laughs> I'm really new at this. And yeah, I think that's, I'm really like, seriously, you guys, I have to thank because I know it's just a few of you, but the few that left comments in my last vid, in my intro meant a lot to me and you giving me your suggestions and uh, basically just your support and let me know that you're out here rooting for me. That meant a lot. I felt like there's no one was going to watch the video and I'm going to be doing this and end up not really caring because, you know, no one's paying attention. I can give up and no one would care. But now I know people are watching and caring and rooting for me. I had so much fun pushing myself to put makeup on even though I wasn't going anywhere. And I even got so excited that I ended up joining Partners in Cream. So <laughs> that tells you anything. I'm like, woo, I really want to start more. But I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't do it, Amy. You'll just, you'll fail. Don't do it. There's so many good ones. But I'll be watching you guys. Um, I'm going to wrap this up because it's probably already too long with my ramblings. Uh, thank you for supporting me again. And... I have been trying to keep up with your videos. I am probably a hundred videos in my, yeah, I have a hundred videos in my watch list of just panning because this, this month got a little crazy for me. Like I got sick, work is getting, going a different direction. So hopefully, well, no, March, I mean, February is going to be crazy too because I'm starting a new job next Monday. So pray for me. Um, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. It's that brain, the brain's going kaput. <laughs> I just start going. Pss, pss. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Just thank you for your support. And, uh, if it's your first time here, thank you for stopping by. And if you made it all the way through this video, you are a saint. <laughs> thank you so much for sticking with me. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see how well I do for the rest of the year in this project pan, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we will do this little journey together. Thank you again and hope you're having a lovely week. See you in the next one. Bye.